I just got married. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm over it. Um, <laughs> barely, I just barely made it right under 40. It was scary there for a second. <laughs> for a moment, I thought I was going to have to be one of those women that didn't believe in marriage. <laughs> and now I do, so that feels good. <laughs> Like, I got married when I was 39, which I feel like is a little late to be getting married for the first time, so I've just been telling people this is my second marriage. <laughs> yeah, first one died, it was sad. <laughs> I got over it, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I do, I do like being married, it's great. Except right now I want to have a dog, except my husband, he doesn't want to have a dog. I wish there was a way to trick my husband into having a dog like you can with a baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's so much easier. <laughs> like, I can't just get my husband drunk and then wake up with the dog the next day. <laughs> or I'm just like, oh my god, we have to keep it. <laughs> For religious reasons. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> no, it's great, though. I, uh, it's amazing that you guys made it out tonight. Uh, I almost didn't make it out. I have three avocados at home that are about to expire. So. <laughs> Like, they don't even know I'm out right now. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I bought five on sale, so it's been really stressful at home this last week. Because <laughs> they're, like, never ripe when you buy them, and then you only have a three-hour window to do something with them. <laughs> and I never know when that's happening, where I'll just call into work, where I'm like, I don't know if I can make it into work today. <laughs> I think my avocados might be hatching any second. <laughs> and I'd like to be there for them. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna throw out avocados. That's like $10. That's a lot of money, you know? Like, I have debt, just a little bit. Uh, like, I'm trying to save money. Like, I've been bringing my lunch to work a lot lately. Like, I brought a can of chili to work the other day. <laughs> and that's sad. <laughs> you know what's even sadder is when I took it out of the bag, I realized it was a can of refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> I was the girl at work that just ate a whole can of refried beans at their lunch. Like, people are like, what is that? I was like, oh, just some dried up dirt that I added water to it. I couldn't even finish it. It was so much bean, I was sweating. It was like the hardest I'd worked all day. It was so intense. I know, part of my problem is that I'm lazy. Do you guys have that? Yeah, I thought so. Um, <laughs> Like, I have items on my to-do list that I haven't even completed from three years ago. <laughs> I know. So I just decided to merge my to-do list with my bucket list. <laughs> I've always wanted to go skydiving and get my license renewed before I die. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> I don't know. But I am trying to do that minimalist movement. You guys know about that? Yeah, it's like this whole movement where you're supposed to throw away stuff that you don't need anymore. So I've just been doing that. It's quite liberating. After a while, I was like, what else of my husband's stuff can I throw out? <laughs> it's really easy. If you don't know how to do it, you just, like, pick up one of his objects, and then you ask yourself, does this bring me joy? <laughs> and it never does. <laughs> so now he's a minimalist. <laughs> I'm still hoarding, but, like, he's doing amazing. <laughs> It's great, though. We did have to get rid of stuff. We live in a studio apartment. It's just kind of like the size of a bathroom. It's about 10000 a month. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> and I noticed it has a smoke detector in there where I'm just kind of like, why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of having a smoke detector in a studio apartment? By the time it goes off, I'm just like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Like, I'm also in the room as well, like, I can see it. I just stay to make sure you're okay. <laughs> I don't know. This is great, though. I like being here. I like being in Los Angeles. You guys are lucky, though. You guys get to have cars that you can cry in. <laughs> like, I live in New York. We just have to cry outside. <laughs> we don't have cars to cry in, so we just do it on the train or on the park in front of other people. Like, I saw a woman walking and crying the other day, and I was like, oh, my God, that's so New York. <laughs> Just be like, I don't have time to sit down and cry. My avocados are about to expire. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs>